Hi folks, Dr. Miller here, welcoming you to our week six corporate financial management course. This week, we continue with a comprehensive discussion of procedures for depreciation write-off, and we integrate the resultant cash flow determination with the capital budgeting decision. We'll review the process of selling an old piece of equipment and replacing it with a new version. The tax consequences of replacement are carefully examined and included in the example presented. Our week six grade will be composed of your participation of the following. Discussion question one and two, which I'll mention briefly in just a second. The short answer assignment, the case study assignment, and completion of the, of the quiz. In terms of the chapter content, we're looking at the um, capital budgeting decision, cash flows in capital budgeting, taking a look at the payback method and the net present value and internal, re internal rate of return methods. We explore the capital budgeting decision in terms of administrative considerations. And what I want you to remember about capital budgeting, that it's about creating capital producing projects, job creating projects, cash flow creating projects. It's known that corporations that uh, do their cap careful capital budgeting and have a capital expense uh, budget are, are planning for future growth and development in the course in their, in their programs. Let's see, so that's the week 12 discussion forum. The week one discussion asks, should a company use its cash flow or its earnings as a basis for capital budgeting decisions? Question two looks at how does capital, how does technical change influence the, the planning for capital spending decisions? Both worthy of our exploration this week. The week six case study is the second part of a series of analytical tasks spanning several weeks. Your task involves an analysis of general economic conditions or systematic risks, such as the risks that affect all industries and companies. Your goal is to determine the percentage terms and optimal allocation of $1 million, or where that will be, among the three asset classes. How to allocate $1 million among three asset classes, U.S. equities, treasury bonds, and cash. The goal here of this week's study assignment would be to maximize your expected returns over the next 12 months. For the short answer assignment, I ask that you write a three to five paragraph essay, explain the concept of capital expenditures and give two examples. For the week six quiz, the week six quiz consists of 20 multiple choice questions and must be completed within 30 minutes of the start. The quiz focuses on the topics covered during the week, which includes depreciation write-off, capital budgeting, and the tax consequences of replacement. Thank you for your brief time. Have a great week. Enjoy our, enjoy our week six corporate financial management course. Thank you.